Alright folks, welcome back to the next episode of Mass for Bar. Alright folks, welcome back to the next lecture of Math for Bonds. Today we're calculating pi. That's why right, 3.14159. How do we calculate it? Well, let's start with the circle. And this circle is going to have a radius. Let's say it has a radius of 1, okay? Why do we say that it has a radius of 1? Well, it has a radius of 1 so that its area is exactly pi, right? Remember that area is pi r squared. And so the area of this circle would just be pi. But let's be careful. What is pi equal to? That's what we want to find out. We're going to inscribe a regular polygon is inside of this circle. And this regular polygon, for now, is going to be a pentagon. Now, realize that as this pentagon becomes more regular, in other words, as this pentagon has more and more sides, it's going to better approximate the area of the actual circle. Okay, so, how do we find the area of this pentagon? Well, break it up, triangulate it, that's what you do. So, we're going to take this interior point, break up the pentagon into five triangles. Five triangles. And each of these triangles has an area. Okay, so each of these triangles has an area. What is the area of each of these triangles? Well, what's the degree measure of this entire thing? Well, that's 360, right? 360. But what's the degree measure of one of these angles? Well, since the pentagon has n sides, n equal to 5, the degree measure of this is going to be 360 over n. 360 over n. Of this wall, the area of this entire pentagon is simply going to be what? Simply going to be what? Well, the pentagon's area is given by the number of triangles you have, which is going to be the number of sides times the area of each of those triangles. So remember, the area is given by half the length of each of these triangles times sine of 360 divided by n. Okay. And so now we can take the limit as this pentagon has more and more sides. So let's go ahead and take the limit of that. So we're going to take the limit, take the limit as n approaches infinity so that this pentagon better approximates a circle. And so what are we going to end up with? Well, check it out. We're going to have n over 2, n over 2, sine of 360 divided by n. And believe it or not, this is equal to 3.1415 which is exactly pi. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you prove the value of pi sponsored by Brilliant.org. That's it for this lecture of MasterBox. Ian Besson plus MKO plus scaffolding you equal excuse learning. Me? We believe anyone can learn you anything. Can that's why our motto is memorization is a crime. And that's why we partnered with Brilliant. Brilliant transforms math and science into hands-on activities so that you too can understand everything from first grade math to E equals MC squared. Barry Science Lab and Brilliant is your MKO and will give you the scaffolding to expand your ZPD until you become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein. Visit brilliant.org slash Barry Science Lab today. And the first 50 of you to use that link will get a 20% discount on the Brilliant annual subscription. Don't, Don't forget, forget that you too can, can become, become the, the next Einstein. Einstein. So, so let's, let's fall in love, love with math and science. science.